Self-confidence. The path to yo everything you want in life. Lesson 1. Foundations of Confidence. Welcome to yet another premium learning pack full of lessons. Here at Life Theory, we are thrilled to have you on board as we embark on this journey to explore the intricacies of confidence and lay the groundwork to build it from scratch. At first glance, self-confidence may seem like an inherent quality that some people possess naturally, as if they were born with an abundance of it. We often find ourselves admiring individuals who can confidently stride across a stage, articulating their ideas with ease, or those who have the courage to voice their opinions in group meetings. In various social settings, these individuals seem to make friends effortlessly, challenge conventions at work, and maintain stable, secure relationships. However, the truth behind these confident exteriors may surprise you. Studies reveal that 79% of women and 62% of men lack confidence in their work while 85% of people suffer from low self-confidence in general. If you have listened to our previous premium learning packs, you know that we decided not to charge anything, but to give it for free. We got this idea from a podcast we love, listen to and pay a dollar to enjoy it. Not because we have to, but because they asked if you found value, tip a dollar. We fell in love at this approach. The podcast is called Hardcore History, and the name of the host is Dan Carling. So... At the end of all those 15 lessons, if they brought any value to you, and you have a dollar, we would like to have it, as it will help us to get you more free content and improve our quality. Who knows, we might even get the chance to start making a real good quality video along with our lessons. Now, before diving in further, let's clarify the distinctions among self-confidence, self-esteem, and self-efficacy. While these concepts are interrelated, they have unique definitions that we will reference throughout this course. Self-confidence refers to the belief in oneself and one's capabilities, varying according to different situations. In contrast, self-esteem is the appreciation and valuation of oneself, which develops and changes over time. Lastly, self-efficacy is the belief in one's abilities within specific contexts. To effectively address self-confidence, we must also consider self-esteem, since they are closely intertwined. Self-esteem arises from the accumulation of events, attitudes, remarks, and communications experienced throughout life. Consequently, our self-esteem is more profoundly shaped by our formative years, although our current life phase also plays a role. It's important to note that low self-esteem in adulthood doesn't necessarily result from abusive or neglectful parenting. A single significant event or an accumulation of smaller ones can alter the trajectory of one's self-esteem journey. If you're wondering whether it's possible to trust yourself, feel confident in your career, and be valued in your relationships, the answer is a resounding yes. Our brains possess neuroplasticity, allowing us to modify and rewire connections. With time and effort, we can reprogram our minds and boost our self-confidence. Throughout this course, we will engage in various activities that involve visualizing ourselves entering our brains. While it may sound far-fetched, research supports the idea that our imagination can influence our attitudes toward the real world. By entering our brains, we aim to change our perception of ourselves and the world around us. Our journey will consist of several parts, exploring the root causes of low self-confidence, dissecting memories that have shaped our self-image, and working on practical goal-setting steps. Additionally, we will delve into two key areas, confidence in your career and confidence in your relationships. It's crucial to tackle both domains, as they require different repair tools. Starting at the root is the most challenging part of this journey. We won't sugarcoat the fact that you may need to confront painful, embarrassing memories. However, building current confidence is a more manageable task, involving actionable steps like planning your day, preparing for meetings, or discovering your personal style. You can choose to work on these aspects simultaneously or focus on one at a time, but keep in mind that repairing deeply ingrained feelings of inadequacy is a time-consuming process. Throughout this process, remember that you will be okay. It can be daunting to face your insecurities, and it may seem like they're affecting your life more as you work on them. But as you unearth and address these issues, you can finally start the healing process. Believe in your abilities and your inherent worth, not only for the value you bring to others, but also for your personal merit as we progress through this course. We'll examine self-confidence from psychological, scientific, and philosophical perspectives. Here at Life Theory, we believe that understanding the root of an issue is essential before attempting to fix it. Gaining insight into the origins of your self-confidence challenges can be achieved through any of these disciplines. Once you've grasped where your self-confidence levels stem from, we can commence the rebuilding process. 
In the upcoming sessions, we'll delve deeper into various approaches and techniques to enhance self-confidence. For example, in Lesson 2, we will explore the psychology of self-confidence, discussing how cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, can significantly aid your journey. In subsequent sessions, we'll cover scientific research and philosophical concepts, providing a comprehensive understanding of the factors that contribute to self-confidence. Throughout this transformative journey, we will provide you with valuable tools and resources to help you dissect, analyze, and work on your self-confidence. We'll delve into the power of goal-setting, visualization, and mindfulness, as well as practical strategies for enhancing self-esteem and fostering positive relationships. As we tackle each aspect of self-confidence, you'll start to see progress in both your personal and professional life. Your newly acquired confidence will manifest in various ways, such as being more assertive, developing a resilient mindset, and experiencing greater success in your career and relationships. While we acknowledge that this journey won't be easy, it's crucial to remain patient and committed to the process. Personal growth takes time, and there may be setbacks along the way. Remember to be kind to yourself and celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they may seem. In conclusion, Life Theory is thrilled to accompany you on this life-changing journey towards building self-confidence. With a solid foundation in understanding the origins of your self-confidence challenges and a wealth of tools and strategies at your disposal, you'll be well-equipped to start reshaping your life and unleashing your full potential. In Lesson 3, we'll explore the scientific basis of self-confidence, examining the latest research on neuroplasticity, the role of neurotransmitters, and the impact of genetics and environmental factors on our self-belief. You'll discover how understanding these scientific principles can empower you to take control of your self-confidence, using evidence-based methods to foster positive change. Later, in Lesson 4, we'll delve into the philosophical aspect of self-confidence, discussing the wisdom of ancient and modern thinkers who have contemplated the nature of self-belief and personal growth. We'll consider how their ideas can provide valuable insights into our own lives, inspiring us to cultivate inner strength, resilience, and a deep sense of self-worth. As we progress through the course, we'll also address the importance of self-compassion and self-care in building self-confidence. We'll teach you how to cultivate a nurturing inner voice that supports and encourages you, rather than holding you back with self-criticism and doubt. By learning to treat yourself with kindness and understanding, you'll create a positive internal environment that fosters self-confidence and personal growth. Furthermore, we'll explore the role of social connections in shaping our self-confidence. You'll learn how to build strong, supportive relationships that inspire confidence and help you flourish in all areas of life. We'll also discuss the impact of social media on self-esteem, offering practical tips for managing your online presence and fostering genuine connections in the digital age. Towards the end of the course, we'll focus on specific areas where you may want to boost your self-confidence, such as public speaking, networking, leadership, and decision-making. We'll provide you with actionable tips and strategies to excel in these domains, empowering you to overcome fears and insecurities and achieve your goals with confidence. Finally, we'll wrap up the course with a comprehensive review of all the concepts, techniques, and strategies we've covered, ensuring that you have a solid understanding of the key principles of self-confidence and the tools to continue your journey of personal growth. We look forward to seeing you in our lessons. Until then, remember that you are inherently valuable and capable of achieving your goals. Embrace the journey, trust in your abilities, and begin the transformative process of building unshakable self-confidence. Remember that change takes time and dedication, so stay patient, persistent, and always believe in yourself. We're confident that with the knowledge, tools, and support provided in this course, you'll be well on your way to creating a life filled with unshakable self-confidence, success, and happiness. See you in the next lesson. Until then, keep on rising.